Hello, I'm Patrick Winnell with the Cattlefax Closing Bell. Today's Closing Bell is sponsored by Vitafirm. Are you looking to make weaning more profitable this year? In a time where weather, drought, and market conditions remain unpredictable, achieve predictable results by completing your program with VitaCharge, a fast-acting livestock supplement for use during stressful times when livestock need protection or assistance in recovery. While the spring and summer surges in the box beef complex received plenty of attention, the hide and offal market has made a significant move as well. The hide and offal values were in a downtrend alongside cattle prices since 2014 on a combination of larger supplies and softening demand for hides. Prices ultimately found a low in April 2020, around $6.75 per hundredweight or $95 per head. However, since July 2020, prices have been moving relentlessly higher and are now trading north of $15 per hundredweight, or $213 per head. Some degree of the move can be explained by the slaughter limitations. Similar to the box beef complex, the bottleneck at, in, at the packing sector is causing the market to be somewhat shorted the amount of hide and offal product that would otherwise be produced. This is especially true for supporting hide values. But demand is the more significant factor for the rest of the drop credit. Tallow demand is being supported by new developments in renewable energy and feed usage, as well as general inflation across the oil and fat markets. Meanwhile, variety meats are continuing to see strong demand driven by export markets. Japan continues to be a strong export customer on top of the addition of new Chinese demand as the U.S. is the only country with export, with export access to the Chinese market. Turning to this week's markets, a moderate fed cattle trade occurred in the north at 123 to 124 live and mostly 197 dressed, steady to two softer than last week. Light volumes were traded in, traded in the south at mainly 123 to 124, which is mainly steady compared to the prior week. In the box beef complex, the choice cutout ended the week $12.40 lower and selects decreased $5.28, narrowing the spread. With summer demand passed, buyers seem to be content to wait as prices continue to decline but should re-enter the market soon to restock pipelines. Around the country, feeder cattle traded mostly steady to three softer with calves one to four lower than last week. Coal cows traded mixed from three lower to one higher. Thanks for watching, and remember to visit cattlefacts.com to become a member and receive the latest market news and analysis.